Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2017 Korean drama mystery movie called After My Death. This movie is about a girl who is driven mad after being suspected of killing her friend. So, what causes her friend's death? Why did she go crazy? Let's find out. Kyung Min is a shut-in school girl who doesn't have any friends. She used to befriend Lee, but Lee has abandoned her to go out with Han Sol, her new friend. That night, Kyung Min follows the two of them to a train station. The next day, Kyung Min is missing and her homeroom teacher questions Lee. He tries to get a picture of what really happened while implicitly suggesting that Lee has said something to Kyung Min that leads to her disappearance. Meanwhile deep inside, Lee is also conflicted by the questionings and can't reveal much. On the other hand, the police have found Kyung Min's backpack in a river and are scouring the area to find some clues. They lower a dummy to let it flow with the current, in hope to find her body. The next day, the school's principal questions the teachers about Kyung Min's suicide motive. Kyung Min's homeroom teacher explains that Kyung Min was a brilliant student, but had a very dark side within herself. Meanwhile, the police and Kyung Min's mother come to the school to investigate further. They see from CCTV footage that Kyung Min walked with Lee and even kissed her that night, before disappearing into thin air. The police have looked into other CCTVs near the area, and conclude that Lee is the last person Kyung Min met that night. After explaining the situation to the teachers, the police start to question the other students. They testify that Kyung Min was a smart girl, but was also a shut-in as she didn't have the same interest as the others. Then, it's time for Lee to testify. Once more, she is questioned about what happened that night. She explains exactly what happened that night, but unexpectedly the police keep on pinning her down into confession. There is also a rumor around the girls that Lee wants to see Kyung Min die, which might lead to her disappearance. Then, Han Sol comes. Turns out, Han Sol has testified differently and shifts the blame on Lee. She says that Kyung Min loved Lee and Lee told her to prove it with her life. Lee says that she was just kidding by saying so, as the mood was unserious, unlike what Han Sol has testified. But, Kyung Min's mother can't bear her reaction and immediately confronts her. The police escort mother out and excuse Han Sol from the room. The detective then continues to question Lee while implying that she has triggered Kyung Min's emotion that night. The detective reveals their kissing scene in CCTV footage which makes Lee unable to speak. Then, she finally reveals that Kyung Min has always wanted to die and shared the idea with her that night, so she also shared her suicide plan to comfort her. Unbeknownst to her, Kyung Min didn't take it as she had intended and jumped off the bridge that night. After the session, Lee feels more guilty for her friend's incident. Furthermore, she comes back to class only to find that the girls are looking through her belongings to find Kyung Min's will, as per the teacher's order. Later that day, mother secretly follows Lee who goes around to look for Kyung Min. She still believes that Kyung Min is alive and is pranking her with her disappearance, but mother takes it as an offense and confronts her. Unfortunately, she has to go home without any results that night. Meanwhile, the bullies are forcing Han Sol to take them to Lee's house. Han Sol doesn't want to do it, but the bullies keep on forcing her. Then, they find her house and mess with her items. They even force Han Sol to rip Lee's shoes with a knife while on camera. Suddenly, Lee breaks her window and comes out to chase them away. However, she is outnumbered and the bullies gang up on her. They beat her continuously and even threaten her with the knife. They accidentally scratch her face and flee as Lee writhes in pain. Then, Lee's father comes, but nags her and orders her to behave herself instead. The next day, the police scour the river once more. They roll a barbed metal pole through the riverbed to pick up any remnants of Kyung Min's body. However, their effort bears no result as the riverbed is too rocky. Due to the failed attempts, the police have to close the operation which is unwelcomed by mother. To add to her anger, her husband is more concerned about Kyung Min's insurance claims rather than their missing daughter's body. Her husband blames the condition on her as a mother, and they almost get into an accident that night. The next day, the police find Kyung Min's body. A wake is immediately organized to honor Kyung Min. The wake is attended by Kyung Min's family, teachers, classmates, and the police. 
Lee also comes and wants to revise her statement to the police, but her teacher drags her outside. She says that Kyung Min is bound to do herself in that night, even without her words. She does that because she keeps on feeling guilty for her words to Kyung Min. She also reveals to teacher that she has planned her suicide long before Kyung Min's incident. Instead of comforting her, teacher nags her and hits her as he sees it as an insult to him as a teacher. During the send-off ritual, Lee writes her will and drinks some unidentified poison. It immediately reacts with her organs, and she coughs out a lot of blood. Her organs are burned inside as she writhes in pain before her last moment. Luckily, the people come just before she passes out. Her final moment with Kyung Min flashes before her and she is brought to the hospital. Lee's action quickly becomes the talk among the girls and some fake rumors quickly spread which further pin down Lee's position in the school. They even think that Lee did it only to earn sympathy after killing Kyung Min. However, not all the girls think of her that way and start to support her. Even the bullies start to question Han Sol's fake testimony. Afterwards, the school and Kyung Min's mother come to visit Lee. Unfortunately, Lee's organs are all damaged and she needs help to eat and speak. Hearing her condition, Lee's father wants Kyung Min's mother to stay away from his daughter, as she will only make things worse. However, he can't do much as most of Lee's surgery bills come from Kyung Min's insurance payout. In the hospital, Lee's recovery progress is watched closely. She reveals to her psychologist that she still feels guilty for her friend's death even after all this time. She comes back to her room to find that Kyung Min's mother has come with her deceased daughter's stuff to give to her. Mother still insists that Lee has killed her daughter, and she gets into a fight with Lee's father. That night, Han Sol comes to make peace with Lee. She reveals that she had a fight with Kyung Min that night over Kyung Min's show of courage to Lee. Kyung Min insisted on proving her words of killing herself to Han Sol, but she didn't stop her from doing so, as she wanted Lee for herself. Han Sol was aware that she was responsible for not stopping Kyung Min, but shifted the blame towards Lee. Surprisingly, Lee cries in relief and forgives Han Sol. After some time, Lee is finally discharged from the hospital. Before entering the class, teacher insensitively tells Lee to forget everything bad that has happened to her, to help her move on. Then, the whole class freaks out upon seeing her. With sign language, she vows to complete her death to get her revenge on them. However, no one understands her and they cluelessly clap to her speech. Due to the incident, Lee gets a lot of sympathizers and new friends. Han Sol even helps her tend to her special needs. Furthermore, the bullies who feel bad for their actions, have captured the girl who spread false rumors about Lee. Lee continuously slaps her, but stops and forgives her after seeing her remorse. At night, Lee's friends try to get revenge on their homeroom teacher who keeps on suspecting Lee in Kyung Min's case. They frame him by making an inappropriate statement, as if the teacher has sexually harassed one of the girls. The statement reaches the principal, so the teacher confronts the girl who has spread the false rumors. However, the girl teases him further, and it angers him very much. He continuously beats the girl but leaves minor wounds. Then, the girl deliberately deepens the wound and the teacher is questioned by the police afterwards. Meanwhile, Kyung Min's mother is still lingering around the school. This time, she is trying to donate in her deceased daughter's name, so her classmates will feel indebted to her. Of course, the idea is rejected by the principal. Lee meets Kyung Min's mother at school, and it makes her feel uneasy. Due to the encounter, Lee remembers her vow and visits Kyung Min's mother to get closure and move on. Mother immediately picks them up and invites them to a restaurant. Over the dinner, Han Sol reveals to mother that Kyung Min is actually not as good as she thinks and that she jumped off the bridge since no one would care if she died. Mother doesn't like it and denies the statement. With heavy breaths, Lee says that she could have stopped Kyung Min that night, but she couldn't do it as she agreed to her idea wholeheartedly. Then, she vows to die tonight, to put the blame on mother, just like how she has experienced in Kyung Min's case. Mother can't bear the reply and tries to stab her chest but fails. In the end, Lee walks through the tunnel to complete her vow, and to get away from the harsh world she is living in. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.